This presentation is uh, titled uh, Interactive Mermaid Diagrams Generation via Markdown Evaluation. This is a Raku centric presentation. We're using uh, Raku packages, Raku code. My name is Anton Antonov and I'm a <laughs> Raku enthusiast. So um, I'm going to show uh, a flowchart which we're going to use more or less follow uh, during the presentation. This flowchart is done with Mermaid. You can see I've, uh, I went to this uh, Mermaid uh, uh, live editor and I use this full screen mode and uh, here's the flowchart. So uh, I'm going to make a, a new markdown file. Well, I already made it. And this is our work document. From this work document, we are going to produce a display document. And so let me show it uh, here. I'm going to use the IntelliJ integrated development environment. So uh, this uh, document is going to uh, both documents in IntelliJ and uh, the interactivity kind of happens because of the automatic updates IntelliJ does uh, over the, the documents in it. So uh, we have the markdown file, we place uh, a Raku code in it and we evaluate it repeatedly with this uh, command line interface function, file code chunks eval, which is provided by the Raku package uh, text code processing. The output, um, you know, output which is going to be produced can be Raku code, but it can be also a mermaid, um, mermaid uh, JavaScript mermaid code. And uh, the mermaid code is automatically out evaluated by IntelliJ into into a mermaid diagram um, this also is done actually automatically uh, if uh, we do uh, place uh, mermaid diagrams in github so uml uh, translators this package uh, recently was uh, endowed with the feature of producing uh, mermaid diagrams and uh, here is uh, here is this uh, mermaid code is being uh, automatically rendered by GitHub into, into diagrams. All right, so we're going to be leveraging these features in order to produce some sort of interactivity. And I'm going to show how I'm going to evaluate uh, this, um, this file. So we, we see here how I'm evaluating uh, the, um, the demo MD markdown, and then IntelliJ automatically produced the corresponding uh, corresponding file now nothing here it's actually specifically raku yet right so if i if i show you the code here yeah there's nothing raku here but i'm going to do a uh, raku cell uh, sorry a bunch of raku cells uh, a section which uh, has raku cells for producing uml diagrams and so uh, while i'm talking let's evaluate it so uh, here we we can see that um, with this package uml translators i'm saying make a uml specification for the package ml clustering using uh, the format mermaid and this produce this mermaid code now if i remove this um, this uh, command uh, comment lines or prefixes of the output code and if i put mermaid in it so mermaid in the front here right like if i put mermaid just a moment mermaid here in the result code then this is going to be rendered uh, as i said automatically uh, by uh, intellij into uh, this uh, this uh, mermaid uml diagram and so this is another um, recent development in the package uh, text code processing it allows the to specify the output language and so and you know the the changing of the prompts has been always implemented. All right, so in some sense, this is it. I would like to mention that that's not as interactive as say uh, using using a notebook, like say, let me put here something else. So this was with uh, associated uh, rule learning. So if I put uh, clustering here, right? So this is going to produce um, a clustering uh, uh, diagram, but this here, and let's actually show it right this is the raku output right so it's uh, but this uh, interactivity here it's achieved because i have uh, some renderer inside uh, mathematica in this mathematica notebook which does that so 
here the mechanism is somewhat different. We rely on the automatic updates by by IntelliJ. All right, so let's actually make uh, another example in which uh, we are going to uh, to make a pie chart because yeah. Uh, why not, right? And I'm going to evaluate this document again and move uh, this uh, uh, terminal window in, an, in another window of uh, another screen. And so let's let's see what's happening. So here I'm uh, generating a, a random data set or data frame, if you will, which has uh, three columns. And uh, we're going to uh, sum the columns and uh, we're going to make a pie chart. So let me actually do this here. So first of all, let me add some additional lines to have the code more centered here, right? And so, and I'm going to, uh, going to evaluate it. And so uh, here you can see we're transposing, uh, transposing this, uh, this uh, table and then we're summing uh, the columns with this reduce operation, right? And then uh, we're, we're making the pie chart. So here, since I put uh, um, mermaid, right, let me put uh, none. And so uh, let's actually see what, what the code is going to be, right? So, I mean, you can see it's pretty simple, right? It's just this uh, pie chart code. Now, if in case it's not clear, this is the same as uh, going to this uh, mermaid, uh, mermaid um, life editor and uh, placing the placing the pie chart, right? This is what, what we're doing. But again, we're relying on, on several, several kind of technological features like automatic updates, the ability to parse, uh, to parse um, mermaid code into, into the plugins in IntelliJ and so forth, right? So here I'm going to uh, put a mermaid and uh, let's actually go, uh, go to Another example in which we're going to make a, a prefix tree, and this prefix tree it's going to be uh, going to, to display it as uh, mermaid code. So let me let me bring up the whole example here, and place it. Yeah, and so yeah, I'm going to to make the evaluation. Oops, sorry. And so here we we have uh, a prefix tree which has been made for the words. Let me zoom here. Bar, bark, bars, bound, cert, cell, so forth. Right. So this is how the prefix tree looks like. And um, I have um, I have made uh, this um, mind map code, which unfortunately it's not being displayed here. So let me uh, illustrate what I mean. Uh, by this. So um, the new version of uh, the Mermaid JavaScript uh, functionalities, the version 9.2, it can display mind maps, but this is not what I have here in, uh, in uh, this uh, IntelliJ plugin. So that's why we're going to be doing something else. And so I'm basically uh, you know, the initial idea was to to take to to use this uh, uh, textual representation of the prefix tree, just remove those uh, uh, symbols which represent the tree branches and have this mind map code. Yeah, as I said, doesn't work necessarily. So um, here we're going to do something else. We uh, basically produce the uh, the edges of the tree and we give it to the flowchart functionality of um, of mermaid so i'm going to going to show this here so let's actually take this uh, code right and so uh just uh, just put it here so what i'm doing is i'm taking the try probabilities and uh, because, um, well, it makes better plot. And so here we're going to, uh, to do both the probabilities and the paths. Actually, I probably need to put this in two different, uh, two different cells.
and it's Perl 6, not perk. And let's actually evaluate it and see what is going to happen. So yeah, we can see what uh, the probabilities when we turn it into probabilities. And I'm going to make uh, the form uh, here, right? It's just from frequency we are moving into probabilities. Instead of using the frequencies here of the words, we have the, the corresponding probabilities. Now, uh, making this into leaf paths, this allows me to examine the, the different paths uh, separately. And this from these paths, I can partition them in such a way that I can produce the edges. So here, uh, I am uh, from this uh, prefix uh, three with probabilities. I am following all of the paths from the root to the leaves, and now I'm going to be grouping this uh, this uh, uh, elements here in this uh, way. I'm going to uh, make these groups of partition them with uh, overlap, and I'm producing the edges, and then from these edges I can produce the mermaid tree. All right, so basically this is it um, and thank you for your attention.